Once Upon a Starry Night, A Book of Constellations by Jacqueline Mitten and Christina Valit. Once Upon a Starry Night. The last hints of pink and orange have faded in the west. Darkness creeps across the clear sky like a velvet curtain. It's perfect night for telling a story. But what about some pictures to go with the story? Look up, and what do you see? Not just stars, but a vast picture book. The night sky is a realm of kings and queens, gods, heroes, and mystical creatures. Look, they're all there, outlined by the stars. You only need a little imagination. Casufia. Where the Milky Way tumbles through the northern sky sits Queen Casufia. Um, Pea, a zigzag of dazzling stars with Cephas, her king, close by. See how beautiful I am, she declared one day, fairer than all the nymphs of the sea. Poseidon was angry with Cassiopeia. No, uh, no mortal insults my nymphs, said the ocean god. I'll punish you for your vanity. And he sent a frightful sea monster to terrify the kingdom. Andromeda. Andromeda is King Cephas' beloved daughter. A spiral galaxy lies just beside her, and the blue and yellow gem of double star flashes on her skirt. Sacrifice your daughter. It's the only way to stop the beast, her father was told. So the princess was chained to rocks by the sea to await her horrible faith. Her heart beat fast with fear. Would anyone help her before it was too late? Perseus. Perseus to the rescue. Winged sandals on his feet, the hero speeds through the Milky Way to Andromeda's side. He carries the fearsome head of Medusa, the ghastly Gorgon he has slain. The demon star that is Medusa's eye winks eerily. Perseus holds high his magic sickle, twin star clusters glistening beside his hand. Death to the sea monster, he cries. So Andromeda was saved and bold Perseus married his princess. Pegasus. Pegasus, the heavenly horse, soars gracefully overhead, four bright stars at the corners of his great square. After Pegasus had killed Medusa, Pegasus sprang up where her blood had fallen. Faithfully, the winged horse served the mighty god Zeus, carrying his thunder and lightning. When the mortal Belopheron mounted Pegasus and tried to ride him to the realm of the gods, angry Zeus flung him back to earth, but rewarded Pegasus for his loyal service by setting him in the stars. Lyra. High in the sky, a great bird bears the lyre of Orpheus, adorned with bright stars with a wispy ring of gleaming gas. Orpheus singing left his um uh, sorry Orpheus singing left his listeners spellbound and the music of his lyre held them like a charm. Grief stricken after his young wife died. He softened the hearts of the underworld gods with his music. Your wife may follow you to the land of the living, they decree, so long as you do not look at her on the way. But Orpheus couldn't resist glancing back and she was gone. Forever. Hercules. Immortalized by the gods, Hercules, the superhero, kneels in the sky, a clustering ball of stars at his thigh. Renowned for his many feats of strength, Hercules, called Heracles by the ancient Greeks, could not be harmed by sword or fire because of the miraculous lion skin he wore. He didn't fear the fiery dragon who guarded the golden apples of the Hesperides. For one of his famous labors, he seized the apples and crushed the dragon with his foot. Orion. Striding boldly through the heavens comes the brilliant hunter Orion, son of the sea god Poseidon. He could walk on water and was tall enough to wade through the ocean. So great a huntsman was this handsome giant. Even the goddesses Arthemis 
um, ding to hunt with him. But when he dared to touch her, Arthemis was furious, and her punishment speedy. Orion died from a scorpion sting. Now Starry Pearl stud his belt, and where his sword hangs, a haze of glowing gas glistens. Centaurus Chiron the centaur, half man, half horse, trots along the Milky Way. Clever and kind, wise and fair, immortal Chiron was a wonderful teacher and healer. What then, by chance, a poisoned arrow struck him, and there he, there was no cure. This pain is too great to bear forever, he cried. He begged to die, and Zeus granted his wish, giving him an honor place in the sky. Now a fuzzy swarm of a million stars rise on the centaur's back. Our nearest bright star, Alpha Centauri, burns yellow at his foot. Ophiuchus. Is it dangerous to hold a snake? I'm not afraid. This snake has healing powers, says the serpent holder Ophiuchus. This heavenly figure is the god of medicine, whom the ancient Greeks called Asclepius. With his magical skills, Asclepius could even bring the dead back to life. But this made Zeus frown. No god should meddle with life and death in the world of mortals, he cried. Raising his thunderbolt, the king of the gods struck Asclepius down, but afterwards placed him among the stars. Argo Bring me the sacred golden fleece, commanded Jason, um, Jason's scheming uncle, secretly thinking he'll die if he tries. But undeterred, Jason and fifty friends of him set off in the great ship Argo on their dangerous adventure. To win the fleece, first yoke my fiery bulls and sow these dragon's teeth, demanded the king who owned the fleece. Then fight the soldiers who spring up where the, the teeth fall. Impossible? No. With magical help, Jason won the fleece. Now the Argo sells a sea of stars as the three constellations, Neil, Stern, and Sail.